Oh, man. The APA is open for business. And a Hall of Fame brawler is set for action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Warner Robins, Georgia. Weighing in at 275 pounds. Farouk. Who can forget the night when this man defeated Vader to become WCW champion? Not just that, but multiple tag team title reigns alongside Bradshaw and a small fortune in protection payments as well. You should pay them, Byron. Like, a lot of money. Oh, I'm kind of broke right now. Yeah, I can dig it. Byron, you make even Booker T and sound uncool. From Houston, Texas, weighing in at 251 pounds. Booker T. Booker T, he says to gain respect, you gotta earn respect. Well, Booker T has lived by that motto, which is why he is a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and one of the most decorated athletes the industry has ever known. You know, Booker knows success as both a tag team legend and a multi-time world champion. But Cole, let us not forget that he is our king and the ring is Booker T's court. And Saxton's out here to be the court jester. The Archer of Infamy, ready to shoot fire. Time for battle, time for reckoning. And from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Damian Priest. Damian Priest has a martial arts background, pure brawling power. Damian Priest aims to live forever. He's never scared of a fuck. Oh, this man here is simply looking to cause some hurt. We are about to conduct a little business with the Almighty. And representing the hurt business from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. Already such an accomplished career, but he's got a lot more to prove. The almighty Bobby Lashley. We are about to witness a display of dominance. And business is about to be done. He's a two-time Hall of Famer ready to make a little noise. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, X-Pac! Think about what X-Pac brings to the equation. Lightning fast martial arts strikes, incredible high-flying attacks. X-Pac can do it all. 
The first superstar to be a member of both the NWO and D-Generation X. You are looking at a superstar who was once told he couldn't cut the mustard in WCW, but has since proven that to be terribly wrong with multiple tag title and cruiserweight title wins. Now this is gonna be good. Without a doubt, one of the greatest Lucha Libre stars in sports entertainment history. Break out your notepads because we are about to receive a master class in high flying. And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray the One of the all-time greats, listen to the ovation for the biggest little man in the history of WWE, Rey Mysterio. And here comes the multi-time world champion. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R Superstar Edge. Who can forget the incredible comeback story of Edge, who entered number one and outlasted every competitor to win the 2021 Royal Rumble. Uh, here comes the two-time Hall of Famer. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. And representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. I got to say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxton. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. The ring is almost overflowing with superstars in this eight-pack match. So many superstars, but only one will win. Long odds for all competitors involved, but each and every one will fight to the finish. I guarantee it. Military press. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, what a kick. My goodness. Booker's attack gets reversed. Ooh, harsh kick right across the face. to the two count. Oh! Looking for more damage here. Bringing the focus to the temple, hoping to disorient into the turnbuckle. Whack! Oh, oh God! Elbow drop. The piercing. Springboard moonsault! Wow! He's lost some of his win now. Time to wallow in disbelief. 
pressure must be kept up. They just punch him in the chest. going to take to keep this guy down. Drop kick to the knee. Oh. There's two. And Xbox Knight is over. He's eliminated. He's eliminated. Back in the ring now. He's heading back to the ring. Bam. And this one might be head ringside. Uh-oh. Hazardous part of town here. On the apron. Oh, That's what they call me the hot shot. Hitman never saw that coming. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Answering back. Short punch. Up and slides down the backside. Boom. Attacking the knee. Shit breaker into a suplex. Great combo. to the back. Double axe handle. Oof. He's in under the ropes. Getting back into the ring.
Friday night. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Now, this is going to hurt. Booker cuts him off. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, my God. Right over the top and hit hard. He is just reeling from that offense. Letting this man. Oh, there it is. Book it. Will that stop for Luke? The Falls Count Anywhere matches never disappoint, but this one might go down in the annals of the WWE as one of the best ever. Here is your winner, Booker T. And what an uphill battle it was to outlast every other superstar in this match. Against all of the odds, it's honestly a miracle. I'm not so sure about a miracle, but definitely a big win here in this elimination match.